Am I the asshole for hiding my pregnancy and showing up to my sister-in-law's baby shower? I, 23 female and currently 8 months pregnant. We had been keeping it a secret and planned to tell people around this time, but a few months after my pregnancy, my sister-in-law, 26 female, found out that she was pregnant, and then it just felt awkward to announce. We wanted to wait for the right time. I've been married to my husband for only 6 months, but we've been together on and off since we were 14, permanently together since we were 16. When we were 17, we found out I was pregnant and I had complications. I gave birth to my preemie stillborn at 25 weeks, so this pregnancy we've been extra cautious and secretive. I haven't seen family much these past few months, and I carry small, but as I developed a bump, I've been wearing hoodies and loose clothing. With that, I kind of just looked like I gained weight. We were hesitant on me going. I was just going to send my husband with a gift of mine, but sister-in-law said she really wanted me there. I decided to try my best to hide the bump and go. It was all going well. No one noticed. I mean, I got a few looks, but no one asked me anything. Then about an hour in, I started having cramps that eventually got more aggressive. I told my husband we need to leave and I need to go to the hospital. As we were walking, a sharp pain hit me and I grabbed the picnic table next to me and I almost stumbled over, causing attention to myself. I really thought I was in labor. The pains were getting so intense. People started surrounding us, asking what the matter was, and my husband said, she's pregnant, guys. She's pregnant. Something's going on. We have to leave. He was panicked himself. He rushed me to the hospital. By the time we got to the hospital, my pains had subsided and they said it was false labor. My husband and I both had angry text messages from sister-in-law and other guests at the party about us hiding the pregnancy, how messed up it was, and how they couldn't believe I showed up pregnant and was secret about it. How I had a baby stunt at someone else's shower. Just got a lot of not nice texts. No one asking if I was all right. That's absurd. What? No one is entitled to anyone else's business. Yeah. If you want to keep your pregnancy a secret, you do that. And if yeah. you want to show up somewhere now that you're pregnant, you're still allowed to do that. Yeah. And if anything, your sister-in-law, your family, these people that are close enough to you to be at a baby shower within your family, yeah. they should A, understand what you've been through, B, not be mad at you for it, and C, it's not like you showed up and you were like, hi, everyone, I'm pregnant. Like, you weren't going to yeah. say anything until something bad happened to you. Yeah. Mind your own effing business. That, that makes me so crazy. mad. I feel like the sister-in-law is like acting as if OP did this on purpose. Right. To like show her up. And it's right. like, I would get if you were getting married and then on your wedding day, you like someone proposed or something. Right. Or announced their engagement or something. Because it's like, okay, that's a wedding. Like you don't need to step on someone's toes. Pregnancy, it's like anyone can be pregnant at the same time. Right. Like, you can't and it's control. for so long. Yeah. And like you can't control when those things happen to you. Right. Whereas you could control announcing like an engagement or like yeah. a wedding or something like that. So like how are you going to get mad over something that she cannot control? And to say like you kept this a secret and you showed up to the shower. Like, yeah, I did keep it a secret because it's none of your effort business you're allowed to keep things a secret yeah and then to be like and then you showed up like was i just supposed to not come to my sister-in-law yeah shower? like they're like you showed up after keeping it a secret and it's like i wasn't gonna show up but you asked me to show up this, and like, now does, you're turning you know it what? on me this is so annoying because it's like i'm mad at these people and i would hope that like anyone in my life would never behave like this yeah but i also could see like someone somewhere along the line in our family being like oh, can you believe she did that and didn't I know. tell us i feel and like, it's like people just love care? drama and they yeah. love to assume the worst because yeah. it is more fun to talk shit and gossip than it is to be like oh well she's a nice girl and she can't control what happens to her yeah like that ends a conversation but it keeps the conversation going when you're like i bet she did that shit on purpose to right. get attention right and then everyone's like, she, yeah, tr- yeah. she planned that baby shower for her sister-in-law on her due date so that she could go into labor and <laughs> hope that she would give birth at the shower not even on her due date a month before her day. yeah like just so she could fake fake labor and right. grab a table when she was having intense cramps and then she and her husband planned that he would panic and right. act like he was so scared like be like everyone she's pregnant like yeah. that's how you want that's how she wanted to announce her pregnancy to your family at your baby shower i just feel like if this girl never had a history of like being an attention whore or like making other people's business about herself and You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if she's never done that in the past, why would they assume that she's doing that now? Because people assume the worst. I know. It's wild. Like, it's just not that deep. Like, don't, you know, we don't have to assume the worst of everyone every time. Sometimes things just happen. 
Yeah. Like, no, it's, yeah, this, it's not that deep. Let her go. Let her live her life. You know, Paris Hilton did this since she used a surrogate. She didn't tell anyone she was having a baby. Oh, she had a surrogate? I didn't know Yeah, she had a surrogate. And then she showed up to her mom's house and was like, oh, I have a surprise for you. And left and came back with, like, something wrapped in a blanket. And the mom's dog had just died. And she thought she was giving her a puppy. And she was like, oh, it's my baby. And the mom was like, what? Wait, I have a story. This is a perfect transition into the next story. Is this well, Paris Hilton's story? I was going to read the top comments, but I'll read the top comment before we move on because people like when we read the top comments. Firstly, congratulations on your pregnancy, and I am glad you and baby are both healthy. That being said, in this instance, yes, the asshole. <gasps> okay, let's see what they say. You are eight months along, can go into labor any day, and it comes out at your sister's baby shower? That is extremely disrespectful. I get why you kept it private in the beginning. You should have told them before the shower and offered to not come if it would be an issue. No. Okay. Uh-uh. I don't agree with that. I do get that she could have shared it with the sister-in-law and been mm. like, by the way, surprise, I'm eight months pregnant. If anything happens, I don't want to take attention off of you. But like, you don't expect to go into labor a month early. Yeah, no, especially not with like your first kid. Yeah. So I feel like her <sighs> not thinking that through and being like, but what if I randomly go into labor a month Fake early <laughs> with, I guess it's not her first pregnancy because she was right in the past right, but like yeah. i just feel like it's not it's also typical. been a long time yeah yeah like i'm not a doctor so i don't really know what yeah, the stats no. are on people going into labor early but i do feel like i haven't heard too many cases of that like that's i personally the... have never gone into labor yeah early. neither have i yeah but i feel like that's the like minority of that happening yeah, so no. is this woman just an asshole because she didn't think that, that she was moment, gonna have Yeah. Is this woman an asshole because she didn't think all the way through and every single possibility of like, what if I get crazy cramps? What if I go into false labor? What if I think like I need to be rushed to the hospital? Like just because you don't think every single thing through, does that mean you're an asshole? No, I don't think so. That's infuriating. Like you can't expect someone to not live their life because they're eight months pregnant. Yeah, exactly. She needs to live her life. She wants to go and support her sister-in-law and be there and give her gift. Like don't be mad at her for being pregnant. And then also, even if she did tell her sister-in-law prior, do you think her sister-in-law would be like, oh, well, then don't come in the slight chance that you go into labor a month early on the day of my shower and right. take attention away from me. Don't come. In the Who couple would be the hours, asshole in that like, situation then? Yeah, and like a baby shower is like a couple hours on like a yeah. Sunday afternoon. Like, come on. You're not thinking like, okay, three hour span. Like, I could go into labor in this three hour span. Yeah, you're almost like yeah, hoping no. for the best. You're like, I'm going to hope that it doesn't happen. And yeah, I'm I don't just, know. I'm just going to say it. Like, if you have any negative thoughts about this woman going to this baby shower, keeping it a seat, if you have any negative thoughts about this whole situation, situ- situation, <laughs> <laughs> if you have any negative thoughts about this whole situation, grow up. Yeah. You need to be educated. Like, move on. Like, you, these things aren't planned. I know. She kept it a secret for a reason. Fucking and educate yourself. That's infuriating. I really feel like if the OP did say to the sister-in-law prior, I'm pregnant. I just want to let you know. And I'm due a month after your shower. If the sister-in-law told her, don't come because if you were to go into labor on the day of my shower, it would take attention away from me. And that's not fair. That story would be on Reddit and everyone would be calling the sister-in-law an asshole. Right. And then if she told the sister in law and the sister in law said that's fine still come the same situation would have happened right it's like why like i just don't think anyone's the asshole here no 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 the people that are texting her afterwards saying you did this for attention you yes have, those are the assholes. those i forgot that happened yes those are the assholes that's you are crazy the assholes. and it is it's now deep because you guys made it deep grow yes up. agreed it's not that serious like be open-minded agreed. about the situation infuriating agreed Ugh. 